This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the Burger of the Week, and this week we're in Orange, Texas at an old cafe called the Old Orange Cafe. Just four blocks from the banks of the Sabine River, you'll find this very popular lunch lounge south of downtown. Good, good cooking. Everything is good. I'm here at least three to four days a week. Orange does lack in, or has lacked in the past, um, a variety of foods. David Claybar became the caretaker of this Southeast Texas eatery when he bought it back in 2004. But since 1990, the Old Orange Cafe has provided this unique town with some flavorful food, all from a building that used to house a local dairy. This was a pasteurizing dairy. Um, all the area uh, dairy farmers would bring their milk here. They would wash the bottles in what is now our kitchen. They would come into this room. There were three pasteurizers here. They would actually bottle the milk in this room. The pictures of those days gone by hang as reminders of how things used to be in Orange, something David's family knows very well, being a multi-generation of locals. My family is, is steeped in this town's heritage and, and history, and um, being able to have this is just kind of my way of, of giving back to the community and, and um, letting everybody see where we've been and where we came from. The thick walls of this old dairy have stood the test of time. Built in 1941, the building seemed indestructible. But then, Hurricane Ike hit in 08. That was a mess. I planned on staying here originally. <clears throat> Our scenario got bleaker and bleaker and, and, and saw that the prediction was 10 to 12 feet of water in downtown Orange. We pulled up here the day of the hurricane in a boat, actually. <clears throat> To see that it was only three feet of water, it might as well have been 12. It didn't make any difference, you know, it was trash. Everything was a mess. David rebuilt his business, all the while providing meals for local law enforcement and relief crews during the cleanup. 30 days, literally to the day, we were back open after the date of the hurricane itself. With so much grit and determination, we knew David would have one heck of a burger. And when he said fiesta, we said si. We ondulate into the kitchen, where David got things started with a half pound 85-15 patty that gets topped with seasoning. Why 85-15? You know, for lack of a better term, it's just got a good fat content. Um, burgers need to be nice and moist and juicy, and, and um, I think it, it, does very, it does very well. Sure. It's definitely leaner than most burgers we see. It means it's healthy, right? It is healthy, right. There you go. The jalapeno cheese bun gets grilled while pepper jack cheese and sriracha gets bestowed on the beef. Sriracha mayo is put on both sides of the bun with lettuce and tomatoes and a freshly fried jalapeno. Fried jalapenos, that's when the party starts. <laughs> Add some avocado and the fiery fiesta gets finished in a fever pitch. So that's it. There's our fiesta burger. All right, thank you, David, I appreciate it. Look at that behemoth of a burger. That half pound patty stacked with those fried jalapenos, the sriracha sauce, the pepper jack cheese just peeking out. Oh, my mouth's watering on this one. I can only imagine what's gonna be the biggest flavor. Sriracha, jalapeno, avocados? Well, let's not just sit here. Let's just find out. Mixing the sauce with Thailand roots with Texas beef on the border of Louisiana with some fried jalapenos, of course, and a burger named the Fiesta, it's hard not to love everything it has to offer. Oh, it is everything. I hadn't really want, had a chance to try anything else. I, I can't get away from that burger. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just everything about this burger. Sweet, spicy, beefy, delicious. This is uh, definitely the go number one go-to for me. Well, if you're not a big fan of spicy things, don't worry, it's not incredibly spicy. The jalapenos and that sriracha give it more of a flavor spice and a real spice to the tongue. Good, good cooking. All right, we may have just lost the fried jalapeno, but we're not losing it for long. I'm coming to get you. We're bringing you back home. Back in the burger you go. There you are. 
no te cosas. If your mouth is wide enough to go over it, you can eat it. Remember, if you make it to Louisiana, you've gone too far. And if you're coming in, just take the first exit. You're here. Come to Orange, Texas, try it out. It's, it's good. The old Orange Cafe in Orange, Texas. Well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Orange, you glad we came here? <laughs>